So we'll start our live in three, two, one. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. It's my special guests here today are Harrison Wolfington and Nate Laughlin. They're in central Maine. Uh, they are Craig Proctor superstars. They've just opened a Craig Proctor brokerage, Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And today what we're going to be talking about is how brand new agents can make over $100,000 a year in their first year selling real estate. So first of all, guys, uh, welcome uh, to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us, Craig. So is that is that true? Uh, I can make a hundred grand, get my real estate license in the first twelve May months. If I was working on your team, I can net a hundred thousand dollars or more. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right. So, so how is that possible? Because uh, you know, a lot of people think in real estate. Well, you know, uh, you're not going to make good money for the first couple of years. You got to figure it out. You got to be cold calling and door knocking, and you got to pester your friends and relatives. Um, how does this work? How can uh, if you? By the way. If, uh, if you're a realtor watching this in central Maine, you want to pay attention. You, you should reach out to these guys because they literally have agents on their team, freshly licensed, you know, no experience, brand new in real estate, making over $100,000 net in their pocket uh, because everything is pretty much done for them, right? Like you don't give them leads. You actually give them appointments. That's right. So our attitude when we work with brand new outside sales agents is how much can we take off of their plate so that they can focus on selling. So we take all the advertising off their plate, no marketing costs. Uh, we take all the administrative work off of their plate so they don't have to do any paperwork, contract to close. And really all they have to do is focus on working with buyers and sellers, which we give them the appointments, like you said. Wait, okay. So, so really, um, that's what agents want to do. They just want to be in front of buyers and sellers and get signatures witnessed all day long. Uh, so your mindset is anything that's not in regards to that, we're taking away from the agent. So, so listen to this, realtors. Anything you're not good at or you don't like to do, they take it off, they take it off your plate. Okay, so, um, okay let, so let's give an example here. Let's say that I was an outside sales agent on your team. I don't have to mess around with marketing. I don't have the expenses of marketing. Uh, you don't even give me leads because if I'm an outside sales agent, I don't want leads. I want appointments, right? I want to I want to meet with buyers that want to buy, and I'm, I want to meet with sellers that want to list their home. So um, when I list the house, also, I don't have to mess around with who's going to put up the sign or getting the key cut or installing the key box or making the feature sheets. All of that is done by your admin team. So think about how much money you could make as a realtor if this was true for you. If you literally could get rid of, if you didn't have to worry about where the appointments were coming from, if they, those, you didn't have to worry about the ad costs and the expenses and all the time you waste doing the minutia. If you literally could just go from listing appointment to listing appointment, how much money could you make? And that's the secret. That's how brand new realtors with you are making a hundred grand a year in their first 12 months. Yeah. We spend a lot of money on advertising uh, so that we can bring in these hot opportunities for the agents that work with us. And basically what we've done is for the past three years, just tried to copy your system on what you did when you were selling in uh, Toronto or outside of Toronto. Yeah. You know, when I, um, the first agent I hired, her name was uh, was Lindy Black, and Lindy was about a year had her real estate license for about a year, and I saw she was like eager and and willing to learn and, and totally coachable. And at this point in my business, I had an overflow of it. You know, as as you know, I was the the first guy that ever created a team uh, way back thirty years ago. There was no such thing as teams. So um, I met, uh, Lindy at an offer presentation and, uh, you know, after the offer got accepted, I'm in the driveway of the home complaining about how hard I'm working. And Lindy says, well, why don't I just come and work with you? And I'll, I'll take over, uh, I'll take the overflow. Uh, you know, it takes a woman to figure this out, right? I th that's a pretty good idea. So she, she came and she worked with me again. There were no such thing as buyer agents or outside sales agents back then. Her first year working with me, she made 250 thousand dollars. And that was like 25, 30 years ago. Now, once I had 
my first superstar, it was easy to recruit the next agent because all I had to do uh, when I was recruiting the next agent was point at Lindy and say, new agent, she netted $250,000. And then I had two of them, then I had three of them. Um, so, you know, that's, you're just following my lead and you're building this incredible team. And now what are you guys working on? So now that basically, um, I don't know if you guys have stepped totally out of the sales and your team is doing all the selling. What is, uh, what is your role? How do you guys uh, split up uh, what you do? When we stepped, we're, we've stepped away from handling a lot of buyers and now our clients are our agents. So we train, we give them hours and hours of training a week where our focus is on them, giving them any sort of, uh, you know, contract training they need, brushing them up on uh, converting and also, uh, we have a transaction coordination department that we, where does the lot of the real estate agents time go is in handling the transactions. Our agents handle six to 10 transactions pending on average at any given time. So that takes up a lot of your time. So now we have a, at $200 uh, a, a close, the agents can hire our transaction team and they from transaction uh, contract to close, our inside department handles that, which frees up an immense amount of time. Let me, let let me also, you, yeah, go ahead. Let me also show you. I've got exhibit A right here on what we're working on. There it is. <laughs> the brokerage, your home sold guaranteed realty, which um, obviously that name was selected because uh, when anyone does a Google search, uh, this comes up not as, you know, your name in Century 21 or whatever, but it's your unique selling proposition, right? Your home sold guaranteed realty. Uh, it is a game changer. Uh, this is what buyers and sellers want. Uh, we're offering uh, very aggressive performance guarantees to set you guys apart from everyone, uh, everyone else out there. And it's your own sellable asset. You know, you're building something now for you. You know, you're not building something for Remax or Keller Williams or whatever. You've got your own, uh, your own deal here. Um, how big do you see this getting? We want to, we want to expand it quite a bit. I mean, I don't, I don't know that we've really set a limit on how big we want to get it in, in the near future. We've got 15 uh, of us now outside sales agents. And so we want to get that to 25 in a hurry. But, um, and I, and I think that that's probably where we want to go for this area that we're in, but we want to expand too. And we want to be definitely all over the state of Maine. Um, then who knows where we could take it. Worldwide outside. domination. Uh, now, um, Harrison, when you started with me, what did your business look like and what are some of the mindset changes you've had uh, since you started with me? So I went to my first Proctor conference before I got my license because I started <clears throat> as uh, Nate's father's sidekick in real estate. And he sent me down to, a, or to Florida, I think, as a test, probably to see if I would get excited about it to like see if he wanted to work with me. And uh, I didn't know what half the stuff meant at the time, but I knew that I loved it. And I, and I liked all the marketing stuff and I took pages and pages of notes. And then we didn't really implement for quite a while the, the system fully. And, um, and why so, do you think that was? Why, why did you come back and not implement right away? Well, I was afraid, like, is it gonna work? in our marketplace. I was afraid at the, at the time, you know, cause I, I went from like making no money in real estate when, when I first started to making a hundred and maybe 150 and 200,000 pretty quickly, but it was all on hard work. It was, it was like, you know, I never spent time with my wife when I, we started to have a family, didn't spend time with my family. Um, and then, well, I'm glad we've been able to save your marriage here. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> ser honestly, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to present at the Orlando yeah. conference and I'm going to talk about that. Like yep. my wife gave me a nudge and I'm glad she did. She was like, I don't know how this is going to continue to work like this. Right. And yeah. So I, I think, you know, I, I think everyone in real estate uh, that's married and their spouse is not, you know, in real estate with them. I, I think that conversation goes on a lot. Um, I know when I, when I first got married, I was solo agent, you know, you get married, you have a couple of kids and, uh, you know, your, your spouse at some point is like, yeah, this isn't going to fly. And, you know, I, I, I wanted to have time off with my family. I wanted to figure this out. So leveraging uh, through the team and slowly backing myself out was, you know, was my 
uh, my ticket to freedom. And it is for everybody. Uh, but before you can get to that point where you can, uh, you can leverage yourself and scale this up, uh, you have to have the marketing component figured out first. You know, um, realtors have to understand that they have to be their own marketing director. You know, you can't abdicate this. Uh, a lot of realtors, you know, they would think, well, if um, I'm, I'm going to do what Harrison and Nate did, I'm just going to go hire a bunch of people. Well, there's no hiring people. No one's going to come and want to work with you unless you've got an overflow, an abundance of business, right? You get there first, right? Like let's, let's bring in so much business that, you know, the solo agent can't do it all. And then we've got something to talk about. Now we can go out and our message to uh, realtors that we want to recruit is, hey, um, I got so much going on here. I, it's fallen off the table here. I can't keep up with all the buyers and sellers. And, and so you start off by, you know, not immediately stepping out, right? Like you guys kept selling real estate. And uh, what I did is I, 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 I would hog all the A leads and the B leads would go to Lindy, right? Um, and she complained about that sometime. And I'd say, well, what do you, you know, I didn't hire you. So you get the A leads and I get the B leads. So um, eventually though, um, you know, uh, she came into my office after about a year or so hair all over the place. She's like, I can't do this. So I knew it was time to hire the second person and the third person. And so that's a skill in itself. The marketing, uh, can be, um, you know, um, picked up pretty quickly if you're a good student. And then, uh, you know, as your business grows, you, you've got growing pains, you got different problems right? Which is, how do I recruit? How do I train? I really love the fact that you guys not only uh, spend so much time and money setting your team members up with qualified buyer and seller appointments, not leads, but actual appointments, and how much time you spend coaching and training them so they actually succeed. You know, that's where a lot of teams fall down. Uh, well, most teams work this way. They don't give their Outsides, they don't have outside sales. They just have agents, right? It's not really organized the way we organize it. It's just a bunch of people working together, going in different directions where um, you've got it set up uh, the way all Craig Proctor superstars have it set up where the leads go to the inside sales agents. The inside sales agents qualify the leads, set up the appointment for the outside sales agents. And then you spend an enormous amount of time coaching up and training your team members so they're super efficient and super successful. Um, Nate, how much time do you think uh, you guys spend every week just coaching up and training your team members? Oh, with, with calls, we're probably oh, 30, 35 hours, I think a week and just, just focusing on your, your system is amazing. I, I just want to point out one thing. When my dad stepped away from selling years ago, I thought our business was going to go down. But following your system, it went up. It was, it was unbelievable. One of our, 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 most, our, our biggest producers stepped away. We hired a few people and our business went up. We didn't feel a hit at all. And following everything, it took a little bit to go all in. But now that we did, 2018, we closed 255 deals. Last year, we were over 450. This year, we're over 200 and we're, we have 100 sale pending. So, you know, it's, it's well, amazing. How many transactions do you think you'll hit this year? We're hoping 500. That's pretty cool. Guys, listen to that. For, for those of you watching this, if that doesn't get you excited, okay, these guys are in central Maine, okay? They're not in, uh, you know, New York City or Los Angeles. They're in central Maine, very rural, 500 transactions. And they're, you guys are really just getting started with this. They're just opening their, uh, their own uh, Craig Proctor brokerage, your home sold guaranteed realty. Um, they're, they're creating a sellable asset. They're creating their own business. Okay. And they're getting all of the systems they need to generate the leads, convert the leads, the presentations, the skills and the training of how to recruit, hire, train, manage the technology. None of this is being offered by traditional real estate franchises. You know, when I worked uh, at Remax, I think uh, Nate, I paid them like, I think I paid them like 120 grand a year. And uh, I got permission to use their balloon. You know, I, I didn't get a lead generation. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get. I didn't get a lead generation system, a conversion system, a presentation system. I didn't get coaching and training on a daily basis on how to recruit, hire, and train. I didn't have my own sellable business. Right after paying them hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, that was it. Like there was no equity for me. Um, that's why a lot of people say, "Hey, um, when's the last time you went to a real estate agent's retirement party?" Doesn't happen, right? Uh, the typical realtor just works until they can't work anymore, where you're actually building a sellable asset. It's a business. And it's a business because it doesn't rely on the both of you in the trenches doing it all day long. You can take weekends off. You can go away on vacation and houses keep getting listed. They keep being sold. Buyers are taken care of. And because your business doesn't operate uh, based on your own manual labor uh, out there doing it, doing it, doing it, it's scalable, right? So I want everyone watching this to think about this because this is the epiphany. Uh, Harrison and Nate, I know this is the epiphany that you had is how many homes could we sell if it has nothing to do with us, right? Nate said, you know, my customer now is the agents. It used to be the buyers and sellers. Our customer now, our total focus is on how can we recruit great talent and how can we coach them up and give uh, the realtors on our team the best training, the best tools, best technology, uh, the best appointments, because the more money they make, uh, the more money uh, Harrison and Nate make, and the easier it is to recruit the next superstar and the next superstar. Let me flip this run and ask you guys this. Why wouldn't everyone in your marketplace just uh, join your team? Why wouldn't they? Well, that's a good question, Craig. I don't think I have the answer to that. Um, you know, is, is, it, is, it, is it ego? Is it, um, you know, like I, I could imagine someone watching this uh, almost thinking, well, this sounds too good to be true, right? Um, uh, folks, this is what um, normally happens when you go all in with my system. Agents make more money in a month than they, they were making annually. Um, Harrison and Nate, how many realtors have you met, superstars within the Craig Proctor world, that are, their monthly income now is higher than what their annual income was before working with me? Quite a few. Most yeah. Everybody. Yeah. So one reason it's different, even though you've got a better mousetrap, even though 100% uh, every realtor in your marketplace would net more money in their pocket and they would work less, uh, yeah, that's the question is why wouldn't they all come and work with you? Uh, number one, because uh, they don't believe it. Or number two, they really don't understand the opportunity. So if you're in central Maine or wherever you are, and you want to reach out to these guys and find out like how this deal works. Don't be skeptical. There's no downside to picking up the phone and having a conversation. That's where all good things start. Right. You, you can watch this and say, well, you know, uh, their marketplace is different or that's something they can do or um, I can't do it or, or whatever. You could have those thoughts or you could do what Harrison and Nate did and just check it out. It all starts with a conversation. In fact, um, I've got an invitation for everybody watching this. We're all going to be in Orlando, Florida at the end of July. OK, I've got a big three day event. We're going to have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Craig Proctor millionaire agents in attendance. And what we're going to be focusing on is the shift in the market. You know, uh, Harrison and Nate, people are worried about, well, what's going on with the economy? We're going into a recession. The market's slowing down. And I get it. For a lot of realtors, you know, if they've had their license, say, five years or less, all they know is an up-up market, probably 10 or 15 years, all they know is an up-and-up market. Um, but where the real money can be made is in down markets. Every time there was a down market, I actually increased market share. So I want realtors to see there's an opportunity here. Don't think of a slowdown or a down market is something uh, that is bad for you. Uh, it will be bad for most agents because they're not going to do the right things. Uh, most agents will pull, pull back on their marketing and advertising. They'll shrink and thousands will get out of the business. But if you do the right things during this down market, uh, we show you uh, different offers to make and different approaches to make in a down market. You will absolutely increase market share. So uh, that's one of the themes that we're going to be talking about at the Orlando Craig Proctor Conference. Um, 
It is called Mega Systems for Market Shift. We'll have a link. I'll, I'll put a link in the comments here. It's just craigproctorseminar.com. That's where you'll go. Um, but this thing's so good. It's $495 to attend. Um, if you're not blown away, we'll just give you your money back. It, that's, that's how good this is. So you don't have to reinvent anything. You know, Harrison and Nate, when you came and joined the Craig Proctor system, everything you wanted to do was successfully being done by thousands of Craig Proctor members before you. Talk about coming to the conferences um, and the benefit of actually getting to meet the superstars and, uh, you know, go out to lunch and maybe at the bar at the end of the day, just meeting with people uh, that are doing the thing that you want and how helpful that was to you. I think meeting those people, rubbing elbows, I'm always looking for the person that's at the next level that I'm at. Those are the people I really want to get to know. How'd you get there? Pick their brains. And the camaraderie and the willingness to share in your system is second to none. And that's like we go to your West, the East Coast is way behind on the West Coast. So we're going there. We're saying, what's, what's California doing? What can we bring to our marketplace so we can take what they're doing, pioneer it in our area. Once they start catching on, we bring something new and they're like, wow, those guys. But, you know, it's it's your system that we follow. The amazing thing is when everybody COVID hit, everybody thought it was doomsday. We were hiring. So we've got people that were laying off, you know, they're laying off other agents. They yeah, perfect laying. example. Everybody else was shrinking and you, you were we in grew. expansion mode. Yep. Yes. I, I'm excited for what's coming because you hit the nail on the head. When, the, when a down market, we, we gain market share. Our agents are set up where they have, you know, we, we tell them, we ask them to have six to 10 ready buyers to work with that are that can pull the trigger at any time. So the more properties that come on, our numbers are just going to skyrocket. And we have, we still have more business now than we know what to do with. And we can hand it out for, we have a lot more capacity to, to give out. So if realtors wanted to reach out to you, Maybe just to verify their, uh, you know, verify your story here that you're, uh, you know, two, two real guys being very eccentric, very successful in central Maine, right? Again, not in a, not in a big 500 transactions in central Maine. Guys, that's impressive, right? How, how should people reach out to you? What would be the best way for them to have a conversation? Or if they, maybe they're in your marketplace and they've been watching you and they've been looking at like, how are these guys doing it? Um, how can people, what's the best way for them to, uh, to get a hold of you? Uh, they can call, uh, I'll give you me, my cell, Nate's cell, uh, and our emails. So my cell is 207-592-8844. Nate's cell is 207-592-3377. And then the best email is info at LafflinWolfingtonRealty.com. I'll spell it. L-A-F as in Frank, L-I-N, Wolfington, W-O-L-F as in Frank, I-N-G-T-O-N, Realty, R-E-A-L-T-Y.com. I'll make sure that we drop all your, your contact information in the comments below. Getting back to recruiting agents. Um, so when I, started, when I started growing my team, remember, nobody else had a real estate team. So when I was calling agents that I wanted to recruit saying, come and work with me, it just wasn't a thing, right? <laughs> so I came up with uh, a lot of skepticism where realtors would say, well, why would I come and work with you? I would quote, lose my independence or I would lose my freedom. And I would say, no, uh, to the contrary, uh, you will have more freedom and you'll have more independence because when you come and you work with me, you can set your own hours if you don't want to work on Saturdays or you don't want to work on Thursday nights, you just book yourself out. But if you are available, uh, I am going to set you up with buyer appointments and listing appointments. And one of the other pressures agents have is the pressure, you know, to be independent. Yep. Um, some of you will be independent. You're going to grow your own teams. And some of you are just going to join someone else's team. That's what I want everyone to think about. Actually, Todd Walters and I wrote a book on this many years ago. And the name of the book, you can buy it on Amazon, is called The Death of the Traditional Real Estate Agent and the Rise of the Super Profitable Sales Team. So we wrote the book on this. And the, the um, idea in the book is that going into the future, and we see this playing out, 
is uh, there will be no such thing as the solo agent. Okay, you, the solo agent is going to find it very difficult to compete as a solo agent. So you're going to make a decision whether you're going to start your own super, super profitable sales team like Harrison and Nate have, or whether you're going to join a super profitable sales team. That's the way this is, is, is uh, you know, uh, going to happen here. So um, what are the pros and cons? Well, you're going to have to decide. You know, do you want a business or do you, do you want a job? So for somebody who wants to make $100,000, $150,000 a year, a couple hundred grand a year, uh, you should be part of a super profitable sales team. You can do that and you can net that in your pocket. Now, for others, um, you're like, hey, I want to I have in 10 years from now or 15 years from now, I want to have a sellable asset, right? I want to have a business that I can sell. Uh, I want to be able to leverage this and make it really big. I want to make millions of dollars a year. We can help you do that. So when we get together in Orlando, Florida, uh, there'll be agents that want to make, you know, a couple hundred grand a year, and they want to be part of someone's team. There'll also be realtors who say, you know what, I want to do what Harrison and Nate are doing. Okay. I want to have my own business. I want to scale this out. I don't want to have a limit. I want to make more and I want to work less. That's another conversation I would have with agents that I was recruiting. I remember one guy um, I, I recruited, um, actually, he was a past client of mine. I'd sold his house about four or five years earlier. And he, uh, I noticed he got his real estate license and I was expanding my team. And I called him and I said, uh, would you be interested in joining my team? This is just when I was rolling my team out. And uh, he was skeptical, like, why would I do that? You know, the same thing, I'd lose my independence or I would lose my identity, I think he said. I said, well, um, how much money did you make last year? He says, oh, I made $100,000. And I'm thinking, well, you really don't have much of an identity. You only made 100 grand. And I said, okay, you, you grossed 100, right? But how much did you net? And, you know, he, he kind of thought about that. And he goes, well, probably about $60,000. I said, so you made 60 grand. Now, he told me, he went out and he told me, uh, yeah, I, I just got divorced. Um, you know, I'm working all the time. Um, you know, that's how I made the hundred grand. Basically, he grossed a hundred, but he really only made 60, right? Because he had $40,000 in expenses. So the guy ended up sacrificing his whole life to net $60,000 a year. I said, if you come and join my team, you'll make at least four times that. In the first year, he made a quarter million dollars net in his pocket. Didn't have to worry about advertising or marketing or who was going to pound the for sale sign in the front lawn or get the keys cut, or feature sheets, or taking pictures. He didn't have to mess with any of that stuff. And uh, he had uh, a way better life, like more money, but more freedom. Um, that's the kind of change uh, that, that can happen. So be open-minded, folks. Don't be thinking um, you have to do everything by yourself. You do not. That's not the way normal industries work. Like your lawyer probably delegates 80% of what he or she does. Right, accountants have junior accountants. Um, look outside of real estate, okay? The team, uh, the, the the team concept, which is not a concept anymore. Um, I did not invent teams. Teams uh, existed outside of real estate, right? That's the way other professionals operate. Who says that real estate agents have to work eighty hours a week? and make $100,000 a year. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. You know, your doctor doesn't work by him or herself. Uh, imagine jumping on an airplane and you look out the window, uh, Harrison and Nate, and, and you see the pilot gassing up the plane or throwing the luggage on the plane or serving you food at 30,000 feet. It would be disturbing, right? The pilot's flying the plane. So outside of real estate, um, having a team and division of work and delegation is very normal. How many of you would like to be coached up on how to do this, right? Either start your own super profitable sales team, or we can connect you with a Craig Proctor superstar in your marketplace that's already doing it. So for example, if you're in central Maine, if you're in the state of Maine right now, um, you don't have to call Craig Proctor. Everything that you want to do in real estate is already successfully being done by Harrison and Nate. Don't sit on the sidelines. Don't be skeptical. Don't be a hater. These guys are doing it. You know, you know the old saying, it's if you can't beat them, join them. That's exactly what I'm saying to you guys. If you can't beat them, join them. 
they have spent the money, the years, the training, and they've got this thing rolling out. And whether you contact them or not, it's not going to change their plan. They're going to keep dominating the marketplace. They're going to keep expanding and expanding. And pretty soon they'll be out of the state of Maine and they'll be uh, expanding into other marketplaces. Why? Because they can. So I want everyone to think about their future in real estate. What do you want? Do you want a job or do you want a business? And if it's going to be a job, let's make sure that you're, uh, you're paired up with a super successful, profitable uh, team that'll help you net as much money in your pocket as possible. Uh, there isn't, you know, really no need to question this, folks. There's nothing to debate. The debate on the Craig Proctor system, on uh, being your own marketing director, on our marketing approaches, on how we scale this, it's, it's, there's no debate. That debate happened 25 years ago. And now we have thousands of members that are out there doing it. And they're going to be in Orlando, Florida. And I invite everyone, go to Craig Proctor Seminar. Dot com. Check it out. You'll see the agenda, the presenters, our money back guarantee. What advice, guys, would you give newer agents? Go back in time to when you first got your license. You're trying to figure all this out. Uh, you know, we're going to play that game. You know, knowing if you got to keep what you know now and go back in time to the beginning, what advice would you give to realtors that are, are fairly new in the business and they're trying to figure this whole deal out? I think one thing that, you know, for me is like you guys always say, it, copy and implement, don't reinvent the wheel. You guys have set it up. You've tried it. Everything is ready to go. And we could have been there a lot quicker if we would have gotten out, got out of our own way. But I think just copy and implement. You guys lay it out for us, you know, from the management training all the way down to agent training marketing, all that stuff. Yep. The contract, we give you the contracts uh, to model after and every problem uh, that you guys have, you know, another Craig Proctor system member has had that problem. So isn't it great to be able to jump on the phone? I like what you said, Nate, you don't have to know everything. You just need to find somebody that, that's a little further ahead in the journey. Just they're a little further ahead than you are and uh, just keep picking their brain. My advice is if you're thinking about making a move, make sure that you look at what are people doing in the place that you're moving to. So there are a lot of people recruiting agents saying that they train, saying that they provide business opportunities. But if you look at what the production is in that office or on that right. team, it, it doesn't tell the same story. And so the way that we, when Nate and I meet and we decide if we're doing a good job or not is we look at what are the agents that we're working with, what's their production levels like and what's their lifestyle like. So we want to give agents instant leverage by taking things off their plate. We have uh, showing agents so that the agents that we work with can have dinner with their families or have their weekends. We facilitate that so that the houses can still be shown and, you know, the business can still operate. And we take all the transaction, the contract to close off their plate. So when you get a deal under contract, you hand it into the office and then all the work gets done for you. So I guess my advice would be, before you jump into like a, a, a new agency or you consider moving to a new agency, look at what are you getting for the, for the split that you're giving up? Cause we can't compete on split with our model, but we definitely are the place we think that you can make the most money and have a reasonable. Lifestyle. Yeah. Right. Right on. What you want to focus on is at where are you going to net the most amount of money at the end of the year? Um, and you're, you're, you're right, Harrison, like, uh, uh, not every, but almost every uh, every company or franchise. Oh, we provide coaching and training, and we provide. Okay, uh, let's see the numbers. Like right. you said, let let's see the, pro, the 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 production numbers of the agents um, that that work at your office, and we know they're pathetic. Uh, now, that's the that's the number you got to pay. That's the the parameter you want to look at. What is the production level of the agents? on the team in this in this office versus anywhere else who's actually providing the quality leads the quality appointments and the training everyone says it everyone says we're going to give you this we're going to give you training we're going to coach you up but uh they don't have the craig proctor system okay uh only licensed brokerages have the craig proctor system the lead generation system the conversion system the presentations um this is all laid out um, guys, check this out. 
Okay, don't be skeptical. Do your research. But um, Harrison and Nate, they'll provide you the production numbers for, uh, for their team. And you can compare it to any other real estate brokerage in their area. This is where the most productive agents um, are, are located is in this office. And here's why. Because we actually do this. We actually provide you uh, qualified, real buyer and seller appointments, not just leads. And we coach you up uh, so you can make a lot of money and still have a life. You know, normal real estate, it's, it's just not um, sustainable. Like working six, seven days a week and being a stranger to your family is not sustainable. Uh, you, and you, you guys see many agents that come into the business and they can do the sprint, right? You see them, they come in, they go like hell for a year or two, and then they completely burn out. Um, and and um, if they, you know, sadly, some agents stick with that program, right? Of working themselves to death, shutting out all the light, light in their life, and they end up uh, divorced and they don't see their kids and it's unhealthy. Um, you've got to have um, a sustainable method of making a high income uh, without trading your entire life for it. That's what Harrison and Nate have set up in this Craig Proctor brokerage. Be part of it. Check it out, guys. Everything good starts with a conversation. Uh, I'll have uh, the comments or, or sorry, the contact information in the comments below. I encourage you guys to reach out to Harrison and Nate. Just have a conversation. Uh, two really good guys. Uh, they've worked hard. They're smart. Uh, they'll show you what they're doing and you can decide, hey, is this right for me? Now, if you'd like to book a call with me, if you're not in the state of Maine and you want to do what Harrison and Nate are doing, book a call with me. It's free. We call it a breakthrough call. All you have to do is go to proctorcall.com. So my name, proctorcall.com. I'll have a clickable link below and uh, set yourself uh, the day and time that works for you. We'll have a conversation. Again, that's where all good things happen. Um, Harrison and Nate, it's a good thing we had a conversation way back when, right? Hey, uh, yes. Can I just add one thing? I think us being in Maine, we're a true testament that the, the comment or the, 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 the wording, it won't work in my, my marketplace, you can throw that right out the window. We have about a million people in our whole state, and yep. we're, uh, we're going to be hopefully number one in our county this, this year with uh, half the agents. And, you know, we, we pay a lot of uh, tribute to Craig and his, his processes and his team. It's unbelievable. You know what I'm going to do, Nate? Um, what I'll do is I'll get a picture of you and Harrison. And it'll, uh, it'll say state of Maine. And then in brackets below, it'll say my marketplace is different. And I'll say, no, it's not. Anytime anyone <laughs> says, oh, I don't know if this will work. My marketplace is different. I'll pull up the frame, the pictured frame of you two, <laughs> state of Maine. My marketplace is different. Yeah. Uh, hey, guys, it's been, it's been a, a, a great interview. I really appreciate uh, you guys taking the time here with me today. And I really hope uh, that this has touched some of you. Okay. These guys are in the state of Maine, not in New York City, not in Los Angeles, uh, this is, uh, you know, rural America and they're doing 500 transactions. Okay. You guys should be part of this. Give them a call, reach out to them. Don't sit on the sidelines and think I can't do this or, um, have any preconceived notions about how this works. What's the worst thing that can happen if you pick up the phone and call them? Uh, well, you know, if you spend 15 minutes, you don't like what you hear, just keep doing what you're doing. But I know that's not going to happen. Okay, set your skepticism aside. You're watching this for a reason. Heck, we've been on this now for almost 40 minutes. If you're still watching this, you're watching this for a reason. There's a spark in you. There's something that intrigues you. Uh, there is a new and better opportunity in real estate for you in your marketplace. Uh, just um, go to the comments below. Book a call with me. It's free. Um, the Orlando conference we're having, if you don't want to fly to Florida, you can watch it virtually. It's $495, folks, to spend three days. You're going to see superstars like Harrison and Nate and hundreds of other super successful Craig Proctor members. You can watch it from home. We have a virtual option. Or better yet, fly to Florida and meet all these people. Meeting them is better, obviously. Okay, $495, 100% money back guarantee, judge and leave. You show up. You're not blowing away. Just, you know, we'll give you all your money back and you keep doing what you're doing. So there's no downside 
to contacting Harrison, contacting Nate, contacting myself, or registering for our upcoming um, conference on mega systems for a market shift. And we are folks in a market shift. We wanna show you not only how to survive, but to thrive in a down market. Every one of these down markets that's come along, I've expanded my, my marketplace, my business, and so have thousands of my agents. So we know how to do this. I hope we can help you guys as well. Um, Harrison and Nate, thank you so much for doing this. I'll let you guys get back to work, but I'll see you in a couple of weeks in Orlando, Florida. See you, Craig. Thank, thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. And thanks, everybody, for watching. This is Craig Proctor, real estate coach. Have a good day.